This is the Music History Today podcast for July 10th. On today's show, Shazam premieres the music app, not the comic book hero. In any event, on this date in 1936, Billie Holiday recorded the song Summertime. In 1950, the phrase His Master's Voice was trademarked by the Victor Talking Machine Company, which later became known as RCA Victor. In 1950, same day, the TV version of the hit music countdown radio show Your Hit Parade premiered. In 1966, a riot broke out outside of the Los Angeles sports arena where fans tried to get into the arena to see a sold-out James Brown concert. In 1967, Kenny Rogers left the group The New Christy Minstrels to form the group the first edition the very next day. In 1968, London's Royal Albert Hall banned another rock group from performing there. This time, it was the group The Nice after they protested the Vietnam War by burning a United States flag on stage during a performance at the hall. In 1968, the supergroup Cream broke up. In 1969, The Temptations Motown special The Temptation Show aired on television. In 1969, same day, the funeral for Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones was held. Brian had drowned in his swimming pool only a week earlier. In 1975, Gladys Knight and the Pips premiered their summer TV show. On that same day, Cher divorced Greg Allman of the Allman Brothers Band. In 1979, Chuck Berry was sentenced to four months in prison for tax evasion. In 1984, drummer Jim Gordon was convicted of killing his mother. In 1985, nude photos of Madonna before she was famous appeared in Playboy magazine to capitalize on her newfound fame, of course. Also in 1985, the movie Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, co-starring Tina Turner, premiered. In 1986, Jerry Garcia went into a diabetic coma and stayed in one for five days. In 1989, the trial of the Shirelles vs. Gusto Records for underpayment of royalties began. The Shirelles eventually won their case. In 1993, Shaka Khan was among the performers at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. In 1993, same day, Bob Seger married his wife, Juanita Doricott. In 1994, Scott Ian of Anthrax married his wife, Debbie Levette. In 1997, Chrissy Hind of The Pretenders married artist Lucho Brieva. In 1998, the group Bauhaus started their reunion tour. In 2008, the Shazam Music smartphone app debuted for iPhones only at that time. In 2010, Carrie Underwood married hockey player Mike Fisher. Also on that same day, ex-Pink Floyd bandmates Roger Waters and David Gilmour performed a four-song set during Gilmour's performance at a benefit concert in Oxfordshire, England. It was the first time that they had shared the same stage together since the Live 8 concert in 2005. In 2010, same day, the K-pop group Girls' Day was formed. In 2015, the documentary about Amy Winehouse called Amy premiered. In 2016, Joe Perry of Aerosmith had a heart attack while on stage during a Hollywood vampire show in Brooklyn, New York. He recovered. In 2017, Charlie Puth and Wiz Khalifa's song See You Again broke the YouTube record for the most watched video with 2.9 billion views. Daddy Yankee, Luis Fonzi, and Justin Bieber's song Despacito then broke the record about one month later. And in 2019, Forbes magazine announced that Taylor Swift made $185 million in 2018, making her the highest paid entertainer of that year. In classical music, in 1762, the monument to George Friedrich Handel was first shown at Westminster Abbey in London, England. And in 1937, Django Reinhardt premiered his piece, Quintet. In theater, in 1948, the Broadway shows Allegro and Look Ma, I'm Dancing closed. In award ceremonies that were held on July 10th, in 1989, the Monkees received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. All four of the Monkees reunited for the event. In 2008, the Who were given a Lifetime Achievement Award at the VH1 Rock Honors. 
In 2009, Robert Plant received the commander of the British Empire from Prince Charles, now of course King Charles. And in 2012, Slash from Guns N' Roses received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released in the UK on July 10th include in 1964 when the Beatles released A Hard Day's Night. Meanwhile, in America, in 1967, Otis Redding released Otis Redding Live in Europe, The Bar K's released Soul Finger, The Shadows released Jigsaw, and The Yardbirds released Little Games. In 1969, Tim Buckley released Happy Sad. In 1971, Steppenwolf released For Ladies Only. In 1972, Cher released Foxy Lady, Nilsson released Son of Schmilson, and Chicago released Chicago Five. In 1974, Parliament released Up for the Downstroke. In 1979, The Kinks released Low Budget. In 1981, The Corgis released Sticky George. In 1985, to go along with her movie, Tina Turner released the soundtrack to Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. In 1992, NRBQ released Honest Dollar. In 1993, Zard released Kirero Omai. In 2000, Coldplay released Parachutes. In 2001, Jack Bruce released Shadows in the Air and The Calling released Camino Palmero, along with Melissa Etheridge releasing Skin. In 2007, Cool in the Gang released Still Cool. Stephen Stills released Just Roll Tape April 26, 1968. And Queen released The A to Z of Queen Volume 1. And in 2015, Yes released Like It Is, Yes at the Mesa Art Center. Singles that were released in the UK on July 10th include in 1964 when the Beatles released the song A Hard Day's Night and Manfred Mann released Do Wah Diddy Diddy. In 1970, The Who released Summertime Blues. Meanwhile, in America, in 1964, The Four Tops released Baby I Need Your Loving. In 1965, Wilson Pickett released In the Midnight Hour. In 1967, Bobby Gentry released Ode to Billy Joe, and the Monkees released Pleasant Valley Sunday. In 1974, America released Tin Man. In 1978, the Little River Band released Reminiscing. In 1981, Rick James released Super Freak. In 1984, Huey Lewis and the News released If This Is It. In 1985, Prince and the Revolution released Pop Life. In 1987, Bill Medley and Jennifer Warnes released I've Had the Time of My Life from the Dirty Dancing soundtrack. In 1996, Journey released When You Love a Woman. In 2002, Rush released Secret Touch. In 2015, Halsey released New Americana. And in 2018, Drake released In My Feelings. He also broke the Beatles record for most songs on the top 10 on the Billboard singles chart when seven of his songs from his album Scorpion charted. The Beatles' old record was five. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 10th include singer Jessica Simpson, Mavis Staples of the Staples Singers, Ronnie James Dio of Black Sabbath, and also Rainbow, and also a really good solo career, Jerry Miller of Moby Grape, folk guitarist and singer Arlo Guthrie, Greg Kinn of the Greg Kinn Band, singer Willie Sugar Bear Ford of the Dramatics, folk singer-songwriter Cheryl Wheeler, Bella Fleck of Bella Fleck and the Fleck Tones, Peter DiStefano of Porno for Pyros, Sandy West of the Runaways, singer Sandy Stewart, singer Jumpin' Gene Simmons, not to be confused with Gene Simmons of Kiss, Neil Tennant of the Pet Shop Boys, Dave Smalley of Down by Law, classical music composer Carl Orff, 
band leader Noble Sissel, singer Ivy Anderson, Gary Lovox of Rascal Flats, Christopher Play Martin of Kid and Play, Beaky Diamond of Dave D, Dozy Beaky, Mick and Titch, Sixto Diaz Rodriguez of Searching for Sugarman fame, Singer Ian Whitcomb, singer Perry Edwards of Little Mix, singer Choi San of Atiz, rapper Lyric Thomas, singer Kim Hee Chul of Super Junior, singer Erica Jane, rapper King Kwan, pianist and songwriter Brian Priestley, trombone player Bruce Fowler, opera singer Josephine Vesey, saxophonist Arnie Lawrence, trumpet player Lee Morgan, bass player Major Holly, pianist Dick Carey, and organist Milt Buckner. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 10th include composer Paolo Bellasio, who passed away in 1594 at the age of 40. Composer Adam Nicholas Gascon passed away in 1668 at the age of 45. Composer Domenico Gabrielli passed away in 1690 at the age of 39. Composer Fernando Sor passed away in 1839 at the age of 61. Composer Carlo Conti passed away in 1868 at the age of 71. Composer Rafael Hernando passed away in 1888 at the age of 66. Composer Phoebe Knapp passed away in 1908 at the age of 69. Composer Attilio Brugnoli passed away in 1937 at the age of 56. Musicologist Donald Tovey passed away in 1940 at the age of 64. Jazz pioneer, composer, and pianist, the legendary Mr. Jelly Roll Morton passed away in 1941 at the age of 56. Composer Arthur Nevin passed away in 1943 at the age of 72. Composer Rued Langard passed away in 1952 at the age of 58. Composer Sidney Homer passed away in 1953 at the age of 88. Orchestra leader Norman Paris passed away in 1977 at the age of 41. Violinist Mikhail Gusikov passed away in 1978 at the age of 85. Conductor Arthur Fiedler of the Boston Pops Orchestra passed away in 1979 at the age of 84. Opera singer Maria Giretza of the Metropolitan Opera passed away in 1982 at the age of 94. Composer Werner Eck passed away in 1983 at the age of 82. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame producer and the man who helped to make Billie Holiday a star, John H. Hammond, passed away in 1987 at the age of 76. Playwright and lyricist of the musical Hair, Jerome Ragney passed away from cancer in 1991 at the age of 55. Wanda Day of the group Four Non Blondes passed away from a drug overdose in 1997 at the age of 36. Guitarist Roland Benson passed away in 2005 at the age of 88. The godfather of dance hall, reggae singer Sugar Minot passed away in 2010 at the age of 54. Opera singer Perrier Alari passed away in 2011 at the age of 89. Opera singer John Vickers passed away in 2015 at the age of 88. Singer Jerry Lawson of the Persuasions passed away in 2019 at the age of 75. Bluegrass singer Byron Berlin passed away in 2021 at the age of 77. Singer Bibbs Alberts of the group The Angels passed away in 2021 at the age of 80. And Holocaust survivor, accordionist, and singer Esther Bajarano passed away in 2021 at the age of 96. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 11th, when in 1969, David Bowie released his song Space Oddity in America. 